Good morning students. Today we are going to understand chapter 12 garbage and its disposal and based on our understanding we will do the book exercises and question and answer of this chapter. Students, a lot of unwanted waste is generated every day in our houses in the form of kitchen waste, empty packets, empty jars, broken glasses, plastic boxes, discarded electronic materials etc. All these wastes are generally generated more in urban areas like cities where most of the people depend on packaged stuff like chips, chocolates, juices and other stuffs. Whereas people living in rural areas live a very simple life with limited needs and so a very less amount of waste is produced as compared to urban areas. This waste is mostly converted into manure which in turn is used in the fields for the healthy growth of the crops. There should be a proper provision for the disposal of waste. The waste that is produced in the urban areas should be disposed properly. They should be thrown in covered dustbins. The waste should be segregated before the disposal. Green bins are used for biodegradable waste like kitchen waste, papers, dead plant and animal remains which easily mix with the soil. Whereas, blue bins are used for non-biodegradable waste which do not mix in the soil and may cause land pollution if thrown here and there. For example, plastic waste, poly bags, glass, metals, electronics, etc. These things do not mix in the soil, so they can cause land pollution. These wastes are collected by the municipal garbage trucks and are thrown in the waste dumping sites, which are called as landfills. These landfills are usually located away from the cities. The dumped garbage is covered with soil to prevent foul bad smell and breeding of germs, house flies and mosquitoes. In big cities, there are incinerators where a large amount of garbage is burnt in huge furnaces. These incinerators cause air pollution due to smoke, heat and bad odor. The biodegradable waste can be dumped in a pit made in the ground and covered with soil. This garbage rots and changes into manure or compost which can be used to increase the fertility of the soil for growing plants. Students, we must follow the 3R rule in our life. 3R refers to reduce, reuse and recycle. The packets of chips, cookies, juice bottles are all plastic materials which create a lot of pollution to our environment. So, we must reduce the use of plastic packaged materials. Also, there are many wastes which are produced in our homes that can be reused. For example, the jars of jams, pickles can be reused for storing stuffs in the kitchen. So, instead of throwing them, we must practice reusing them, which will also help in controlling the amount of garbage which we are creating. Old newspapers, notebooks, Utensils, glass bottles, all these stuff should be given to the rag pickers instead of throwing them away in the dustbin. These rag pickers take these waste materials to the recycling center where these stuffs are recycled. Recycling helps to conserve our natural resources, reduce landfilling, save energy and controls pollution. It will go a long way to keep our earth clean and green. So children, this is all about the explanation of this chapter. Before we move on to the book exercises, I request each one of you to please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you keep getting the notifications of the upcoming tutorials. Thank you children. Let's move on to the book exercises. Question number 1. Tick the correct option. Part 1. It is a biodegradable waste. A. Animal waste. B. Vegetable peel, C. Waste food, D. All of these. So children here we will tick the option number D. All of these. Animal waste, vegetable peel, waste food. All these are biodegradable waste. Part 2. It should be thrown in a blue dustbin. Coke tin, 
broken bottles, poly bags, all of these. So children here also, we will tick the option number D, all of these. Coke tins, broken bottles, poly bags are all non-biodegradable materials and do not decompose easily. Part 3. This means to treat waste to get materials which can be reused. Reduce, reuse, recycle, none of these. So children here we will tick the option number C, recycle. Recycling means to treat waste materials in such a way that we get a material which can be reused. Part 4. They produce toxic waste. Homes, jungles, schools, industries. So children here we will tick the option number D, industries. Lot of chemicals are used in industries for manufacturing different kind of materials. These chemicals are toxic and hazardous to our environment. Let's move on to question number 2. Write true or false for the following. Part 1. It is good to use only one side of paper. So this is a false statement. We will write false here. We must write on both the sides of the paper. Part 2. Urban people produce more waste than rural people. So this is a true statement. We all eat a lot of packaged materials which are packed in plastic wrappers and containers. These plastic packages do not decompose easily and that's why a lot of plastic waste is generated in urban areas. Part 3. We should throw old newspapers in the blue bin. Children, this is a false statement. Newspapers are biodegradable materials and should be thrown in green bins. Part 4. Landfills are made in the center of a city. This is also a false statement. Landfills are usually made outside the cities as they become the breeding ground of many disease-causing germs. Part 5. Covered dustbins do not spread germs and bad smells. This is a true statement. So we will write true here. Part 6. Recycling helps to conserve natural resources. This is also a true statement. As the waste materials like papers, glasses, aluminium, plastics are processed and treated in such a way that they can be reused again. Question number 3. Give reasons for the following. Now children here you can see there are 4 statements and we have to give reason justifying these statements. Part 1. Poly bags should be banned. Answer. Poly bags should be banned as they take hundreds of years to decompose and so create a lot of land pollution. Innocent animals swallow them which leads to a slow and painful death. Part 2. Every colony must have a compost pit. Answer. Every colony must have a compost pit as the biodegradable waste can be used to make compost which again can be used to grow healthy plants thereby reducing land pollution. Part 3. City people produce more waste every day. Answer. People living in cities produce more waste every day as they mostly depend on Packaged food items and beverages which create a lot of waste in the form of waste packets, empty cans, plastic bottles, etc. Part 4. Think before you throw things. Answer. We must think before throwing things as it leads to a lot of land pollution. We must try to reduce the amount of garbage which is being produced by reducing and trying to reuse things instead of throwing it away. Non-biodegradable things, which cannot be reused, should be recycled. Biodegradable waste should be used to make compost. Question number 4. Define the following. Part 1. Landfill. Answer. Landfill is an open ground where the garbage is dumped. It is usually located outside the city. Part 2. Incinerator. Answer. Incinerator is a huge furnace which is used to burn garbage. It creates a lot of air pollution due to the smoke and heat which comes out after burning the garbage. Part 3. Compost When the plant and animal waste are dumped in a pit and left covered with soil for some days, the garbage rots and changes to manure or compost. This compost is used to improve the fertility of the soil. Part 4. Biodegradable Waste Answer. 
biodegradable waste is the waste which decomposes and gets absorbed in the soil. For example, plant and animal waste, leftover food, paper, etc. Question number 5. Answer the following questions. Question number 1. Define garbage. List 5 garbage items produced in our home daily. Answer. Garbage refers to those things which have no use and are not needed anymore. For example, fruit and vegetable peels, leftover food, empty packets, broken glasses, waste papers, etc. Question number 2. Why is segregation of waste a good practice to follow? Answer. Segregation of waste is a good practice to follow as a lot of trash or garbage can be recycled which ultimately reduces the amount of garbage going to the landfill. Question number 3. Describe the 3 R's. Answer. The 3 R's refer to reduce, reuse and recycle. Reduce means to reduce the number of things we use. It is the most effective way to solve the garbage disposal problem. Reusing is discovering a new alternate way to utilize the trash instead of discarding it. For example, empty jars can be used for storing things. Recycling means processing and treating the discarded materials and making them reusable. Question number 4. Why are landfills made outside cities? Answer. A landfill is a site which is an open low-lying area where garbage can be dumped. It is made outside the cities so that the area is not affected because of the foul smell emitted from the decaying garbage and the disease causing germs which breed here. Question number 5. Why is recycling good for our environment? Answer. The process of collecting waste materials and converting them into useful materials is known as recycling. Recycling is good for our environment as it reduces the amount of waste that is generated every day. Next is HOTS. Plastic and polypacks are harmful for both terrestrial and aquatic animals. Discuss. Answer. Humans invented plastic and animals are harmed by it. They swallow it while eating leftover food. Plastic in animals' gut can prevent food digestion and can lead to a slow and painful death. So children, in this way we completed chapter 12, Garbage and its Disposal. Hope you learned something new in today's class. Do give a thumbs up and don't forget to share this tutorial with your classmates and your teachers. Let's meet in the next video. Until then, stay happy and keep learning.